Alrighty guys, it's Tachi, and welcome back to more Valiant Hearts, The Great War. We got us uh, loading through our mouse off the, the screen there. I'm sure it's taking a long time to load. Ah, chapter 2, so it's going to watch the movie again. Anna was training to be a veterinarian when the war broke out. The Germans were only 20 miles from Paris when she received a letter from her father. He was in good health, but implored her not to return home to Belgium until the war's end. Patience, however, was not one of Anna's strong suits. Oh, so there's that bird. I wonder if we can end up controlling the bird. Oh. I don't know what we picked up there. Oh. Let's see what that is. Inkwell. Ballpoint pens were not developed until the 1950s, 1960s, so soldiers would use a quill or nib to write letters. Ink was poured into an inkwell, into which, in order to provide enough ink, the quill nib had to be dipped regularly. I've never used a, an inkwell before. Let's see if I can... And there goes that. Let's hit this bird. <laughs> oh, did you go back and get it? Maybe we have to hit it when she's above us. Whoops. One more time. One more time. One more time. Come on. Over here. Screw you, bird. What else is in here? Huh. Ooh, there's a letter. Letter from Belgian civilian in Paris. Dear parents, we fled our land before the German advance take shelter in France with the children. Unfortunately, the Germans kept coming forward and Paris is practically under siege. If Paris falls, we shall return home to Laige. Your dear daughter, Matilda. Whoops. What was that? Something's going on down there. Huh. That's cool. There's a pocket watch. Broken watch strap. A uh, watch strap broken by a motor crank handle before battery ignition was developed. Motor cars were started by cranking a handle. As engine spark for life, the operator had to let go of the handle smartly because the crank handle, now propelled by the engine, could cause a nasty accident. I guess that's where uh, we get the term "crank the engine" in America. I don't, I don't know if uh, if Europeans say "crank the engine." I'm, I'm guessing not. Who is this? Oh, I was hoping to get the girl beaten. <laughs> this music is amazing. Let's see. More pigeons. Oh. I got an 
X pattern. That's a triangle, square. Oh, oh, there's something here. Newspapers. The main source of information was the newspaper. Radios were in the early days based on tube technology and the television did not exist. On top of local and national news, a new section appeared in the newspapers dedicated to the events of the front. Some newspapers and also published daily listings of POWs and war dead. Oh, that's sad. So what do we do with this? Oh. Let's see. That's ready. We need a... Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, that's a triangle. Okay. This is a funky... What's the matter? Oh, cool. Like a little mini event. Okay. What do you got for me? Nothing? Oh, a bottle. Let's get that bottle of water. I'm guessing that's what we need. No animal to help us. It's kind of, uh... Kind of weird. Now we have water. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. Oh, another one of these things. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, no, no, no. We'll try and be quiet during this music. Oh, this makes me so happy. That was amazing. September 7th, 1914. Taxis drove all night. Anna was proud to help the soldiers reach the front line. When Anna arrived at her destination, she discovered the horrible truth with her own eyes. September 7th, 1914. Arne Prince. Uh. 
Oh. Seven months went by. Driven by compassion, Anna devoted herself, body and soul, to healing the wounded and the sick. Every life saved was another small victory over the war. The conflict, however, raged on. Shrapnel shell remnants. Shrapnel shell remnants. A shell containing lead bullets. Depending on its settings, the shell might explode on contact with the ground, sending its contents flying or, or in the air with even more destructive results. Ah, uh, yeah. Lead is uh, not good. Oh, man. Let's go to the top. Have we already seen that. Carl is alive. I caught sight of him flying a Zeppelin heading south, and we're going looking for him again tomorrow with Anna and Freddy. Whoops. This freaking shells nearly did it for me. There's no way I'm giving up on some. Up so close to my goal, apparently their leader's called Von Dorf. I'm going to get him. Everybody else are just pawns in this game, just like me. The situation is horrific here. Yesterday I was in my warm and cozy apartment, and now I'm in the depths of hell. There are so many dead, so many young lives lost. I managed to save one soldier this morning, but there are so many others to tend to. Tomorrow I'll try and get closer to the front so I can help with most of the need. Ah, this guy. The morning in Ypres, Von Dorf made us capture some scientists. The army is interested in his work. Apparently, he'll help the Germany win the war. He seems like a nice fellow, but it's hard to find out anything else about him. Von Dorf is keeping him closely guarded. Not a day goes by, I don't think, about my Marie and my little Victor. I haven't seen them for eight months now. I miss them so much. <laughs> 